Thivinan's uh, Natans and Maxim Bauer transfer theorem in single circuit okay, by using that results uh, you have to verify by using piecewise. So this is the circuit, uh, single circuit in this circuit. Uh, we have to find the Thivinan's voltage and then as to Natans current and then as to maximum power transfer to the load. Okay. So this is the circuit is having one dependent source. Current dependent voltage source, 4 ix is called current dependent voltage source. This plus minus is called a voltage source and it depends upon current flow into the 4 ohm resistor. The load resistor RL, according to the maximum power transfer theorem, when RL is equal to RTH, load resistor is equal to Thevenin's resistance, RL is equal to RTH, then maximum power transfer from source to load. Okay. First, uh, uh, we have to find the Thevenin's voltage. How to find the Thevenin's voltage means just to remove the load RL. Remove the load resistance and across the open circuit terminal find the Thevenin's voltage. When it is open, no current flow into the 3 ohm resistor. So that's why current uh, 0. Uh, here this current is uh, loop current is called or mesh current is called I1 and here mesh current is I2. This is open circuit. That's why I2 0 there is no current flow in the 3 ohm resistor and uh, there is no voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor. That's why this voltage is equal to Thevenin's voltage. This voltage is equal to Thevenin's voltage is equal to node voltage. No voltage across this node. Okay. So because of there is no voltage drop present here. Then ID is equal to 0 because of open circuit. Then what is the equation in this loop one? Mesh one minus 20 plus 4 into I1 plus 3 into I1 minus I2 I2 is equal to 0. That's why 3 into I1 plus 4 IX is equal to 0. This is the equation number one. Here IX, uh, uh, this branch is not interlinking with uh, loop one and loop two. So separate, uh, it, it, is, uh, it is only in loop one. That's why branch current is equal to loop current. Any resistor or any element is not interlinking with uh, another loop. Okay, that current flow into the branch is nothing but loop current only. So here, but here a current flow into three ohm resistor is nothing but I one minus I two. The difference between these two currents. Okay, but here current flow into the four ohm resistor is nothing but I x only. Current flow into the three ohm resistor is called I two. Okay, and uh, that is equal to zero here. Uh, and the IX is equal to this current is equal to loop current is equal to branch current because of four ohm resistor is not uh, any is not having any relations to the loop two. That's why IX is equal to I1. That's called branch current is equal to loop current. This branch current, current flow into the branch, four ohm resistor is equal to the loop current uh, that is called I1. And then substitute is IX is equal to I1 in this equation, simplify. Then I1 current in the loop one is called I1 is equal to IX is equal to. 20 divided by 11, that is called 1.818 uh, amps. This is called loop current. Then how to find the Thevenin's voltage means this voltage minus this voltage drop. Source voltage minus voltage across the 4 ohm resistor is nothing but Thevenin's voltage. Understood? So 20 minus uh, voltage across the uh, this 4 ohm resistor is called 4 IX. Voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor is called 4 into I. So 20 minus 4 into I1 or Ix, uh, that is equal to 20 minus 4 into 20 divided by 11. I1 is equal to Ix is equal to 20 divided by 11. Substitute here, then we will get uh, Vth, Thevenin's voltage is equal to 12.727. Okay, in this way, we have to find the Thevenin's voltage, open circuit voltage. Then next, coming to the Norton's current, uh, how to find the Norton's current means uh, just remove the load and uh, short circuit the terminals like this. This is called short circuit terminal. And uh, the current flow into the short circuit current terminal is nothing but the Norton's current. So while it is short circuiting, this current is not equal to zero. But here, open circuit condition, current is equal to zero. But short circuit condition, the current flow into the 3 ohm resistor is called Norton's current only. Okay. So under short circuit condition, so we have to find the Norton's current. Under open circuit condition, Thevenin's voltage. Open circuit voltage is called Thevenin's voltage. Then these are two meshes. Uh, Okay, loop one is called one mesh uh, mesh equation and mesh two two equations uh, we'll get here. So here, what is the mesh equation? Means minus twenty plus four into i x uh, or four into i one plus three into i one minus i two. Okay, and then four 
plus uh, plus na this is called plus 4ax is equal to 0 here a branch current loop current uh, both are same because of the 4 ohm resistor is not connected to the loop 2 it's a uh, it's connected in loop 1 only that's why branch current is equal to loop current ix is equal to i1 then sub by substituting the ix is equal to i1 here minus 20 plus 4 i1 plus 3 into i1 minus 3 into i2 plus 4 i1 is equal to 0 so by simplifying we will get uh, this equation 11 i1 minus 3 i2 is equal to 20. There is the equation number 5. Then coming to the loop 2 here. So 3 into i2 and the next uh, minus uh, entering in at terminal minus that's why minus 4 into ix plus 3 into i2 minus i1 because of we are in loop 2. So is equal to 0. Understood? So then here branch current is called current flow into 3 ohm resistor is nothing but Norton's current. Uh, that current is nothing but I2 only because of this 3 ohm resistor is not connected to the loop 1. That's why current flow into 3 ohm resistor is nothing but loop branch current. That branch current is equal to loop current. Branch current is nothing but Norton's current. That IN is equal to I2. Okay, I2 is equal to I1. This is the another equation. The substitute here, I2, uh, then we will get to write 3 into I2 minus 4 into I1 plus 3 into I2 minus 3 I1. So 6i2 is equal to 7 and 1. You will get like this equation from this loop. Okay. And uh, by substituting uh, this uh, 6i2, 7i1 in equation number 5, then you will get i2 is equal to 20 divided by 6.428. That is not tons current. i2 current is called not tons current. That i2 is equal to i n is equal to 3.1113 amps. Like this 3.1113 amps. So this is called not tons current. Then we know maximum power transfer to the source to the load is nothing but VTH scale divided by 4 times of RTH. Maximum power transfer theory. So VTH uh, how to find, we know VTH, we know and the next uh, Norton's current. Norton's current known and also Thevenin's voltage known. Then RTH is called Thevenin's resistance is nothing but VTH divided by Norton's current. Then 12.727 divided by 3.12. 3.11, this is the 3.1, not as current. Substituting here, then we will get 40H is equal to 4.08 ohms. Thevenin's resistance, uh, this is called 4 ohms. Then what is the maximum power? Maximum power is equal to VDH scale divided by 4 times of RTH. Substitute here, VDH is called 4, 12.727, this voltage, and uh, VDH is scale divided by 4 times of RTH. That is called 4.08. By simplifying, the maximum power transfer to the load is nothing but 9.925 watts. So this is about theoretical calculations about to Thevenin's voltage, Norton's current, and the maximum power transfer to the load. Okay, this can be verified by using P spice. Okay, P spice uh, open P spice schematic like this, and uh, take uh, one voltage source VDC, place here, and uh, one more resistor. Three resistors are connected in circuit like this. This is resistor and press controller. And they are, and then one voltage source that is a current dependent voltage source. So I think it's, this is called current dependent voltage source. Current dependent, it depends on current and it's having circuit is called as a source. Okay. This is called Rambar symbol. Circle is called here. So Rambar symbol is nothing but circle. Plus minus is called voltage source and uh, it depends upon current flow into the resistor, this resistor. Okay. So connect this element by using draw wire in this way. Like this. Source is connected here. This is called source. Plus minus is called source. And take one ground. Ground. Place here ground. And uh, press zoom to fit page. And the uh, next, uh, it is depends upon current flow into the, this resistance. Here, how much resistance? 4 ohm resistance. Uh, 4, 3, 3. Okay. So, this is called as a 4 ohm resistance. 4. Right here, 4, save alter. Then this is a resistance is called 3, 3 ohms, save alter, press 3. This is also value of 4 resistance is called 3. And here, 1, 
load resistor here. Yeah? This is called as a load. For example, resistance connected here like this. This is called load resistor. Load resistor. And uh, this is called some, some voltage. That is called, what is that voltage? 20 volts. Here 20 volts. Say Walter, then press OK. And it depends upon current flow into the, this 4 ohm resistor. That's why you connect uh, current leaving from this bands. This is the direction. Current. So this is the current leaving from the source hold and uh, flow into the 4 ohm resistor in series. Current is always connected in series. Voltage is connected across the resistor. OK. And this is called load resistor. And uh, next, what is the gain of this voltage source? 4 IX. Okay. Gain 4 IX. No? That's why 4 IX uh, open this source voltage source right here. Gain is called 4. See Walter, then okay. So, how to find the thickness voltage? Just remove the load and open circuit the load and uh, place one IDC. 0 amps and then simulate. Save. Like this. So, this is called currents and then voltage. So, the voltage is called open circuit voltage is nothing but 12.73. So, according to our theoretical calculation, so thickness voltage is nothing but 7, 12.727 is nothing but 12.73. VTH is equal to 12.73. Okay. That can be verified by using P space like this 12.73. Also, this voltage, thickness voltage, okay. Here, the open circuit voltage. And if you have any doubt, to take one viewpoint and place here and simulate here. Okay. Then it shows uh, voltage is called thickness voltage is called 12.73. So, like this, thickness voltage is uh, verified. The next, uh, how to verify the current, uh, Natan's current. So take one voltage source, that is voltage source VDC, and uh, zero volts means short circuited, and then simulate, uh, okay? Simulate, and what is the current flow into the, that's uh, So 3.111 amps, so this is called Natan's current, the current flow into 3 ohm resistor. The current flow into the 3 G uh, short circuit terminal is called 3.11 amps, uh, okay? So, Norton's current uh, 3.1113 amps, this is called Norton's current. So, then Norton's current is verified. Thevenance voltage and Norton's current both are verified. Then, next, how uh, to verify the maximum power and also Thevenance resistance. Okay. At Thevenance resistance, we will get the maximum power. RL is equal to RTH. So, to verify that, uh, take one uh, load resistor like this. The name of the load resistor is called RL. The value of the load resistor is called RL. So take one flower bracket, sir. Okay. Then write here capital RL. Capital RL. And then save, alter, then okay. So change the value of this resistance, R5. Okay. R1, R2, R3. And this is called as R5. Change the value of resistance uh, is called RL, like this in flower brackets, in terms of flower brackets. And go to analysis and set up and enable DC sweep, like this, open DC sweep. Global parameter is called as a RL, name of the global parameter is RL. And here, starting value is called 0 0.01 to get smooth voltage to smooth waveform. And the ending value is depends upon Thevenin's resistance, the theoretical calculations of our uh, Thevenin's resistance. Okay. So, so what is the error? 4.08. No? That's why Thevenin's resistance, uh, go to analysis gear, then set up enable DCC. So, start uh, global parameter and you write uh, RL. And the starting value is called 0 
and ending value is depends upon RTH. RTH theoretically four. That's why so take uh, twenty maximum value of resistance twenty. This graph will uh, the graph will be show up to twenty ohms RL and uh, increment by zero point zero one or zero one like this and uh, okay press okay and then next uh, take one parameter variable parameter parameters place here variable parameter okay this open variable parameter uh, value name of the parameter name one is called rl and uh, save alter and then value of the variable parameters any value of the so choose any value here more than uh, four ohms so that is for example 10 ohms variable value of the variable loads is called 10 and then so everything is a uh, settings are adjusted first uh, open load resistor rl and uh, right here rl value is called in terms of flower brackets rl in terms of flower value is equal to capital rl and then go to analysis uh, setup uh, it enable dcc and open dcc global parameter the name of the global parameter is called rl and starting value is called 0 0.01 End value is greater than RTH, uh, that is uh, greater than 4. So that's why here end value is called 20 and increment by 0 0.01. Then close and work OK. And then press simulate. And then once it's simulated, uh, with the, it is not having any errors. So the blank window, blank without any graph, it will be display. So right here, by writing the trace expression, we will get the maximum power okay, graph. So go to trace and uh, add a trace. and uh, so what is the value, what is the name of the resistance, low resistance is called R5, that's why here, right here, IR5, select IR5 from left side and right side star, that is called into, and then IR5, I square is over, and then into RL, that is called I square into R is called maximum power transfer to the load. So this is our maximum power transfer to the load and uh, go to properties, change width of this graph. Okay, like this, it uh, visible like this in this way, and uh, how to find the maximum value of uh, maximum value? How to indicate? How to label maximum power, maximum power, and also thevenance uh, resistance or load resistance at maximum point uh, means by pressing this toggle cursor, press toggle cursor, and uh, this is called cursor peak, and uh, cursor peak then label. So 4.09 is called our load resistance and 9.899 is called maximum power. 4.09 is called thevenance resistance or load resistance. Okay. Then what is the thevenance resistance is called 4.08. Here uh, our in our graph is called 4.09 is almost same exactly. Only fractions difference is done. Don't worry about that. So 4.09 and uh, this is called practical value of RL and theoretically, so we got uh, like this, uh, theoretically 4.08 and maximum power transfer to the load is called 9.925. So from this graph, the 9.899 is called 9.9 watts. So press uh, this print, okay. And it, uh, this will be save in PDF and uh, save PDF in uh, desktop. Uh, take print out and place in record. Okay. Right here, name of the PDF is called maximum term. Like this, save this PDF and open. So like this uh, maximum power graph, it will be saved in PDF and uh, it indicate the label like this 4.09. For value of thevenous resistance, so maximum power is called 9.89. Like this, we can verify it by using the piece by the thevenous voltage and the not as current and the maximum power transfer to the load by using this graph. It's about uh, 
Eminem's not dance, my is not.